Yeah, one of my early coaches was Charlie Lau, who got most of the recognition for the development of George Brett as a Hall of Fame hitter. And he was a great catching instructor. He taught me how to catch and how to get the most out of a pitcher. But that's what he would use. He would use the phrase, try easier. And it always reminds me that, you know, whatever you're doing, uh, it's not as important or significant or uh, challenging than anybody else's situation. And just enjoy what you're doing. And when you think about it, I go to work every day at 3 o'clock. But I go to work every day in a beautiful ballpark watching the best athletes in the world perform. And Pat and I were talking about it on a plane. Last night it was the 21st of September. And we got 12 games left, 10 games left. And we said, where'd the time go? Because every day is such a joy to go to work and do these things. And you know what? Every team doesn't have a bunch of guys that are great to deal with. But our job is that we can do our job without having to have great relationships with the players. You know, my 50th year in baseball, I've seen and done everything they've ever thought about doing. And when they say, well, you don't really understand. No, you don't really <laughs> understand. But, you know, that's the beauty of being in the game so long. I just, I just always go back to how fortunate I am. I'm a small town kid. My parents were hardworking people. They both worked for the telephone company. My mom was native Indian, California Indian. My grandparents came from Spain. And here I am. And, and I'll never forget this. My, my girlfriend in high school, she was a sophomore. I was a senior. Her dad was this big real estate guy in our little community. He said, you know, son, one of these days you're going to have to give up baseball and do something that can last you your lifetime. <laughs> I laugh about him all the time. <laughs>